Welcome back. In this video, we take a good look at the rare white-tailed hognose viper from the Osa region of southern Costa Rica. Hey, so I'm in the uh, forest, I'm not sure if they near the waterfall, so you can probably hear it in the background. But I'm walking along our trail here and I come to this log and what do I see but our rare snake, the Prophidium parasi, the white-tailed hognose viper, coiled up right here in the crook of a log, probably about the easiest one I've ever seen. Way cool. It looks a little fat, like it's had a meal, so we're not going to disturb it much. Uh, I'm trying to get a picture of the actual hog nose part of it. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Quite uncommon in, in uh, the Osa area but we're lucky to have them here at Finca Ocho Verde near Golfito, Costa Rica in the southern zone. So it's Saturday, July 21st. Uh, yesterday we came to take a look at the hognose viper and we got these photos. Uh, unfortunately, it somehow we scared it and it moved away. Uh, so we're coming back today to see what we can find. Here's the log that it was on. And there it is. Right there. Coiled up in exactly the same place it was on the very first day despite being scared and it moved uh, over underneath these bushes right here uh, it has since gotten back up and crawled over probably because we had a lot of rain last night it uh, crawled up to escape the rain and get on some of the higher ground pretty cool and interesting uh, habits of the uh, Hog nose, white tail viper, Porthidium parasi, also known as a tamaga uh, for local people. Um, pretty interesting. Nobody really knows much about these little snakes, uh, their habits and stuff like that, because they're not very common. Um, and it's important for us uh, not to disturb them when they're out uh, on their own. Yesterday when we came out here for photos, we did jostle a little bit and it, and it went to the plant nearby uh, and it's since come back. So there's such interesting uh, habits of it. Uh, almost exactly in the same place next to the same yellow leaf where it was yesterday. Uh, it looks like the head is pointing probably north. Uh, and again, I'm sure it's up on this log because of the amount of rainfall that we had last night. Uh, yesterday afternoon, actually. So once again, uh, you know, manipulating this snake uh, with a hook or with uh, tongs or anything like that, or removing it, uh, is one of the things that uh, we uh, kind of discourage here on the farm, uh, other, other than special circumstances because we like to see how these animals behave under natural conditions uh, without the influence of people. Well, she's a little more anxious than yesterday. She crawled off the log. She was here. She went right there, really with no provocation. Uh, we're not so sure why she did that. Probably just got tired of us standing around. But we're gonna leave her be and hope that she'll come back up through her face right here. 
Day three, Perithidium harassi. So it's day five, uh, and I came to check on the white-tailed hog and his viper. And I got here, and it was gone. So I looked over here. It's normally right in there. It's, it's been known to hide in the plant just to the uh, just to the left underneath that big leaf. So this is how I would walk down here like this. Actually, I wouldn't go quite like that, but... I would go uh, directly over that log. Uh, and then when I got down here and I was looking around for the hognose viper, I found it back up here. So virtually I stepped right over it. You can see my footprint right here. Not only was it camouflaged right here, but this particular leaf had it blocked from my view above. Remarkable. Yet, uh, as you can see, it wasn't aggressive. Uh, in fact, the best camouflage for these snakes is remaining very still and blending in with the background. Just how camouflage is this little viper. Check it out. And this particular snake stuck around on this log for nine full days. We would end up finding two and possibly three more individuals during our five-week visit. One we encountered during a night hike and it was clearly on the prowl. The other one, which we called Overton's Viper, was found in four different locations during the last week of our stay. Well, it's our last day here uh, on this trip. We're down here, not too far from the pasture. It's over there. But I thought I'd be, I was going down this trail and uh, we've been looking for Overton's uh, Porthidium parasi. It's been around here the last couple of days, but it moved off the, uh, where we had it by the 10, or where it was by the 10. It moved over to another log. Uh, and then this morning we found it again, I believe. So I'm gonna kind of show you how uh, it all came about. Let me see if I can flip this camera around. Ah, I'll have to cut and turn it back around. Okay, we're turned around. Anyway, this is our trail. And just to give you an indication of where these snakes like to, to hide, um, you can walk right up. The snake is going to be on the other side of uh, that little root area right there. So we're going to go like this and just look how tightly tucked in it is. Lord, that, that's got to be Overton's uh, snake because this one, this guy is so wound up. He's always wanting to go places, but you can see. It's crawling along, and there is the white tail on the far right-hand side of the camera. It's interesting, these snakes have a head. It's, it's viper-like, but it's almost like that of a vine snake. Uh, genus Octobellus, or uh, even the Laura snakes, the parrot snakes. Anyway, Last day, probably won't be on any more hikes. Uh, just have a little bit more to go. I think we have a night hike to go on tonight, which has been pretty good. But we've been uh, we've been averaging a snake a day, and uh, today we've got one. So 
we're we're ahead of the game anyway one last look let me turn my headlight on maybe you can see it just a little bit better there you go of the hog nose viper very skinny i think this one is maybe a male i'm not very good at sexing snakes uh however he's not fat like a female and he's moving around probably seeking out a mate at this time of year anyway prothidium parasi the hog nose viper with a white tail uh really not uh very common in all of costa rica and only known from the osa region uh in the south southern zone so we'll say goodbye to our prothidium parasi this is the fourth one that we found on the trip Tired of our game. We're gonna take off.